Hey, and welcome back to the revolution and some brand new WWE 2K22 information. As moments ago, WWE and 2K officially unveiled the cover for this year's game with the biggest little man and everyone's favourite lucha legend, Rey Mysterio, being front and centre. Before we take a look at the cover, as well as the official press release, along with some seriously awesome screenshots featuring some of the women of WWE, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website, www.revolution.com, where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news, as well as all things Royal Rumble, which airs later this month. Later today, we'll also be breaking down the super snazzy cover trailer, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Switching back to the cover, I have to say I actually really love this year's cover and I would argue that it's probably my favourite in quite some time. 2K20 might have had a female cover co-star which we all wanted for so long but I really do love the energy that this year's cover has. Would I have loved another cover co-star with someone like Sasha Banks or Naomi on the cover? Absolutely but you can't take anything away from what we have here. Ray literally leaps off the cover and I'm hoping this is the same sort of energy we have going forward into release and beyond because quite honestly it's really refreshing. I also love that the cover seems more in line with this year's cover star instead of having a cover in which any superstar could have easily been chosen and looked just as good if not better as seen in previous editions with fans being able to easily recreate their very own 2K edition. That being said, I'm up for the challenge of recreating my own versions of the 2K22 cover and I can't wait to see what the rest of the community comes up with. I'm not going to lie but at first glance it reminded me so much of Halucha from Pokemon that I kind of can't unsee it now and I want my very own Rehal. Lucha. If the standard edition cover didn't do it for you then I'm quite sure the deluxe edition cover will which looks so damn badass. In previous years WWE and 2K opted with simple colour variations when it came to the deluxe covers but this time WWE 2K22 really does hit different thanks to one seriously epic deluxe cover showcasing one of Ray's many infamous masks. The colours and effects really do leap off the cover and encapsulate the colourful Lucha tradition with bright reds, blues, yellows and greens all to be seen. Those who want the ultimate WWE 2K22 experience can purchase this year's NWO for Life edition which has its very own cover featuring NWO members Hollywood Hogan, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash and Six. I'm not going to lie, of the three covers this is definitely my least favourite but I'm sure some hardcore NWR fans will be happy with a black, white and gold ensemble. So before I get any cheesier, let's break down some of the information revealed thanks to the official press release. This time around 2K boasts that like the resiliency shown by Ray throughout his wrestling career, in that same spirit of resiliency, WWE 2K22 strikes back with a slew of upgrades and community requested features to give players complete control over the WWE experience. As we all know by now, the tagline for this year's game is It Hits Different, with today's press release elaborating on that notion with the promise of a redesigned gameplay engine, new controls and upgraded visuals. WWE 2K22 is set to look, feel, play and hit different. Thanks to an intuitive control scheme and immersive presentation, players will feel the pressure and reward of every punch, kick and slam. Not only is Ray the cover star for this year's game, but as previously revealed, Ray will also be the main focus of this year's showcase, which will incorporate new features and updates, allowing players to relive the iconic moments behind Ray Mysterio's most infamous matches. The press release also briefly touches on WWE 2K22's newest game modes, My Gem and My Faction, which provide fans with two unique gameplay styles with My Gem allowing players to step into the role of a WWE General Manager and My Faction providing a mode in which fans can manage their dream faction with weekly and regular updates providing tremendous challenges and replay value. This time around there will be four editions of WWE 2K22, each with their very own perks including the Standard Edition, the cross-gen digital bundle, the deluxe edition and the 25th anniversary NWO for Life digital edition. This year's standard edition will be available to fans for £59.99 on PC and last-gen platforms with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S editions available for £64.99. For fans lucky enough to own multiple generation consoles, they can purchase the cross-gen bundle for £69.99 which will allow players to play 2K22 on multiple generation consoles within the same console family. The cross-gen bundle comes with the digital standard edition of WWE 2K22 as well as the Starcade 96 Rey Mysterio pack. 
For £20 more, fans can upgrade to the deluxe edition of WWE 2K22, which comes in at £84.99 on all consoles with both physical and digital editions available. This year's deluxe edition comes with the standard WWE 2K22 base game, as well as this year's season pass, which features five post-launch DLC packs, the MyRise Mega Booster and Supercharger packs, as well as limited edition WWE Supercard content. Players who pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition before March 8th will also receive early access to the game three days early. Next-gen versions of the Deluxe Edition will also come with a Stark A96 Rey Mysterio pack. For those wanting the ultimate WWE 2K experience, this year fans can purchase the NWO for Life Digital Edition for £104.99 on PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and Series S as well as PC. The NW Edition comes with the standard base game as well as all bonus content features in the Deluxe Edition as well as My Faction Evo cards and alternative NWO ties for Hollywood Hogan, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash and Six as well as a playable Eric Bischoff. Also included are WCW Arenas for WCW Sold Out in 1997 and WCW Bash at the Beach 1996 and the added bonus of the NWO Wolfpack Championship. As in the Deluxe Edition, fans who pre-order the NWO Edition before March 8th will also receive early access three days ahead of the official launch. Those who pre-order the Standard Edition or Cross-Gen Digital Edition of the game will also get the Undertaker Immortal Pack, which includes three additional Undertaker Personas, My Faction Evo cards for the Undertaker, as well as My Faction perks and bonuses, including an Undertaker My Faction logo card, wallpaper card and nameplate. The Undertaker pack is also included in both the Deluxe Edition and the NWO for Life Edition. Alongside the cover reveal and press release, 2K also released a series of screenshots to accompany today's news, with the first being another look at this year's cover star once again making his way to the ring. We also get a look at two of the biggest names in professional wrestling history, with a screenshot of an updated John Cena and one amazing updated version of The Rock. While it may not give too much away, we get a sneak peek look at Becky Lynch in this year's game as she makes her way to the ring with Bailey waiting inside. It's hard to take too much from the screenshot, but if this is anything to go by, it looks like the hairstyles have received a big improvement over the one seen in 2K20. We then get our very first official look at Sasha Banks in this year's game, who I think looks absolutely incredible. From all of the models we've seen so far, I would wholeheartedly say that I think Sasha looks hands down the best, or she might say, boss. <laughs> From her hair to her attire, everything to me looks perfect, and I can't wait to see her entrance to fully suck all of it in. If the screenshot and updated trends are anything to go by, it looks as though Sasha has a brand new entrance animation based on her return to SmackDown last year. Sasha's model has me so hyped to see the rest of the women's roster and I can't wait to see some of the women we have yet to see. So on that high note, that wraps up this piece of WWE 2K22 news, but as we said at the start of this video, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for our WWE 2K22 cover trailer breakdown and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news as well as all of our Royal Rumble content and coverage. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and roll on WWE 2K22.